Sorry, guys. It is pretty early. size of uku hopefully catch some uku see you guys out there peace wish me luck oh crap <laughs> First official drop we did our warm-ups and our first drift and technically this would be our second drift and so we finally just parked up we went idle I jumped in and I seen some movement at the bottom seen some bigger fish so I threw my flasher and they took a quick drop down here this is pretty shallow on 64 feet flashes right there and uh, out came this uku so I was waiting for it knew I could land if I took my time and I was trying to see if I can get a headshot and here we go and I stoned it first ever stoned uku and I'm pretty hyped first fish of the day basically first drop of the day first fish of the day things are looking pretty good so far Coming up out of the water, I didn't say anything. It's because this is our new guys that I'm diving with and I wanted to show them rather than just say stuff that I'm not completely useless. Stoned it! <laughs> He's out. <laughs> First Kahala ever came out at 11 and a quarter pounds, I believe. But beautiful fish. There was a pair that he was with and ended up to be great, great fillets later on. Yeah, <laughs> get one more, get one more. So, so far I got a Kahala and an Uku and so we got a lot of food, a lot of good eating and I just need something that my family likes, my wife, my kids and they tend to like uh, these red Uhus. These are going to be great later on, Chinese style steamed up.
So the whole day we haven't been really chumming. This spot is known for sharks when you do chum. So we're pretty hesitant to do it. We're going to save it to the, the blue water. But we ended up taking some chum out, throwing it out and seeing what came in. And this big boy ended up wanting to come on in. Ended up being a PB, PB uku of mine at 12.10 pounds. <laughs> so throughout my dives this day, you can really hear my sinuses squeaking and uh, that's me equalizing um it doesn't cause me really any pain i don't know if it's just something individual to me but it just squeaks whenever i equalize typical uku dive going straight to the sand going to go ahead and scratch dust and grunt try to get this guy to come on in <laughs> Seen this monster <laughs> moo on the left side. And normally I would go for him if there wasn't a huge uku directly <laughs> in front of me. Look at that line rip. This reel was screaming. And I've never had a fish fight me this hard. So I'm taking my time, trying to palm the reel as much as I can. More so just grabbing the line and swimming up. And uh, trying to land this, this fish. So the other diver, Kavena great diver this is what all good divers should do um he noticed that my fish definitely needed a second shot it was a belly shot didn't know if it was gonna land so he dove down and he came in for a second shot just so that we can secure this fish Yeah, fuck is a dozer! Well, I was like, oh, I wasn't gonna shoot it, but it was in the belly, so I was like, ah, oh, you might rip up. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Very safe than sorry. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. I see him coming in, I was like, oh, you fucker, you're dead. <laughs> hey, you. Yes, Good size was out in the out by the ledge. Nice. Yes, sir. Uku, good size. So you guys remember that red uhu that I had? Well, this was the case of the situation. I had it and I gilled it. The shark, Galapagos shark, rushed on the right side of me. With my left hand occupied with the red uhu, Kavena goes and tries to poke this shark. Out comes a whole school of rainbow runners. He shoots one. I dive down to protect his catch. 
And then I am tempted by another school, another low spot. Took it, took the shot, seeing the Ulua's chasing it, seeing the shark chasing it, came up to the top yelling for Jeff, and it was a bit of a cluster. Now, if you watch real closely, you can see this shark whack my Kamanu, my Rainbow Runner. I'm pretty defeated. No! Galapagos shark steals my Kamanu. Luckily, Kavena got one. So, Forget end up shark. calling Jeff and head back to the boat. little clip of me trying to save what's left of my flopper that Galapagos shark ripped my flopper open that was super loose and it wasn't gonna hold on anything so I had to smash it with some lead They get three tigers on me. After the sharks ended up ruining the situation, we ended up heading out of there, heading into shallower water for Jeff. And uh, that was a wrap on the big diving adventure. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. <laughs>